What's that sound? It's kids playing outside. Not something you hear very often these days. Kids, go inside and play some video games. Okay, Captain Quinn back here. We're doing another episode of uh, my fly tie and giveaway. We're just gonna tie a basic, um, more classical steelhead kind of fly with uh, a hair wing. Uh, it's gonna be real simple and uh, super effective springtime. All the fry are hatching and I really like to swing something like this in the, in the spring. You're gonna get all kinds of trout and of course steelhead too. So I got my neon yellow yarn. I'm gonna crank it back down the shaft of the hook here and I'm gonna stop right about there. And then I'm gonna take some golden pheasants crest. I'm gonna take a couple strands of that pluck it out and then situate it so it's all kind of pointing up. I got three little sprigs there. Locker in place. Do you remember that? Do you remember when kids used to play outside? Boy, how times have changed. And I hear kids these days whining if they don't get the, the iPhone or the Xbox that they wanted for Christmas. Well. I didn't wake up with a heart on Christmas morning. I had nothing to play with. And there was three, three of us growing up, three brothers, so young boys. Basically, every day was Christmas. Now that I'm older, Christmas doesn't come in a cardboard box marked Cialis, then I don't have anything to play with. But, uh, moving on back to the fly here. So there you got the, the pheasant's crest tail, and I'm going to do a orange butt on this thing. But before I do that, I'm going to attach my ribbing materials. So I just got a piece of copper wire. I'm just gonna put that on the back, secure that in place, and then a piece of silver tinsel. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Just lock it right on top. Just lock her in place. Let's go wrap it all the way back down to the butt. And then just kinda build the body up a little bit. It's not super important because you're gonna cover this in dubbing here in a second. I'm gonna do an orange butt with just some orange dubbing. Pick that apart, rip it apart. And uh, I managed to get out the other day. It's it's summer, it's, it's not summer, it's spring. Spring is in the air, it's beautiful, the sun is out. That's why we're doing this uh, episode of the Fly Tie uh, series outside because the sun is out. We're, we're honoring the sun and the spring and hopefully the spring is sprung and you're all out there chasing some spring steelhead. Uh, I know I'm going to be trying to get out in the next week or so and just pound some water and put some of these flies to the test. So I'm switching over to purple dubbing now and like I said I don't do in previous episodes I don't bother with the dubbing loop. I just wind it onto the thread and then work my way up. It's got a few other pieces of material in there. It looks like a piece of green marabou. Just extra flavor. Leave that in. And I'm going to stop about there. Lock it all in place. And then I'm kind of just going to comb it a bit with my fingers before I do some of my add my ribbing silver ribbing there we go lock it in trim the tag I hope you guys have been uh, getting out and chasing some steelhead with your favorite flies I hope you've been enjoying these fly tie videos and finding some valuable information buried somewhere beneath all the horse shit that comes out of my mouth and don't forget to comment below. I'd love to see some photos and and some pictures of some of the flies that you guys tie and some of the photos of you guys catching fish. So make sure to check out our Facebook page. Uh, Captain Quinn, fisherman, outdoorsman, comedian, I think. The link's below in the, in the description. And our Instagram account too, uh, the Captain Quinn. I'll put the link below once again. Check that out, share with us. Let's get some, uh, share some some knowledge and some bragging rights. So there you go. It's kind of what the body is going to look like. And then I'm going to take a piece of uh, guinea 
guinea fowl, purple, spotted polka dot guinea chicken. And I'm gonna lock that in place and I'm just gonna do a couple wraps like this for the, the hackle, the throat part of the hackle. And we're almost done here. We only have one more material to add. Lock that in. Trim the tag. Pull it back. Kids playing outside, hey? I mean, we didn't have technology as a form of entertainment when I was a kid. All we had was rocks and sticks and dog shit and sheep shit to throw at each other. You know, it's it, it forces you to get creative and imaginative and just have some good, genuine, wholesome memories and experiences. Kids need to spend a hell of a lot more time outside than they do. And that's why fishing is so great. There, that's a sexy little ditty. I'm just gonna trim off the excess here. And then put the head down. Build it up a little bit. Neon green, baby. And that's gonna swim nice. And basically what all the wings really responsible for is keeping the fly horizontal and helping it swim and move through the water nicely. So, whip finish that, baby. And I mean, if that's, like that's got sex appeal written all over it. I can smell the sex appeal from here. I wonder, you could probably smell it from there. And that's a nice spring steelhead fly. It's gonna swim a lot like a, an emerging salmon fry heading down to the river. They're, all the fry are gonna be heading down to the river when the rivers blow out in May. And uh, well, things are gonna be eating them as they venture on. I think that when I was in high uh, elementary school, we learned that uh, salmon have about a 7% chance of returning to their native rivers to spawn. So 7% of the river of the, of the salmon fry will survive to adulthood and make it back to successfully spawn. Now I hear that number is as low as 1% with all kinds of extra, well, threats that they're faced with on their lifelong journey. Um, but let's try to mimic some of them and catch some fish that feed on them and have some fun in the process. So there you go, another uh, fly tying series. I don't know what we're gonna call that. The white winged, red butted, purple body green head canoeberator. It's a hell of a fly, easy to tie and super effective and nice to cast. So thanks for watching, Captain Quinn here. Don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends, comment below on what you wanna see tie next. And uh, I am gonna be giving these away. I'm just gonna tie a few more. I'm gonna bring them out into the field. Then I'm gonna go through all the comments one by one and read out some of my favorites and then give those awesome people some flies. You're all awesome. And I, my goal is to give you all flies. So I got to, gotta get back to work here. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Tight lines.